Good morning, children. You're welcome to verbal reasoning in class this morning. And in verbal reasoning class today, we'll be talking about analogies. What they call the topic? Analogies. I am Madhupa Olaika. I'm still your teacher on this awesome learning platform. And I want you to pay attention to today's topic because you're going to be learning a lot from it. Analogies. You'll be learning what analogy is and how to use it in sentences and then how to recognize and identify it in sentences. So I want you to pay attention to the class because it's going to be interesting. All about analogies. That is what we want to look at today. Now, let's learn analogies. Let's learn. It's going to be fun. Boy is to girl as man is to woman. At the end of this class, you should be able to define analogies and then you should be able to solve exercise using logical reasoning on analogies. You should be able to solve exercises using logical reasoning. And those exercises, exercises will be on analogies. So let's learn analogies together. Let's have some fun, girl. Let's have some fun, boy. Boy is to girl as man is to woman. Now I will tell you what an analogy is all about. Now, analogies are words that are related or connected in one way or the other. You can see this box here. You can see connection. 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 Can see connection. And like that, it continues to connect and connect. And then all the points are being touched. That's what analogy talks about. It means those words are actually related to one another from one way or the other. Now, I will tell you more about analogy. An analogy is a comparison between two pairs of words in which, sorry, this which, two pairs are related in the same way. Two pairs are what? Related. They are related somehow. When you talk about analogy, you look at it, when you look at it critically, you figure it out and find out what are the words that are related. What is related to this particular, particular word that has been pinpointed out. Out of this list of other words I have, which one is related to this other one that is singled out? So to solve an analogy, first figure out how the first pair of words are related. Just think about it. What is related to this particular word that I have with me? Which word is related to it? Then you get your analogy. Then think of a word that completes the second pair in the second way. So you may be given some pairs of words and then one will be missing. Then you'll be asked to look for that missing one, which is the analogy of the word you're looking for. Then you come down, think critically, and then figure out which pair of words is related to the one that is missing. Okay, now let's look at this example for instance. It says there is a relationship between fish and water because fish lives in the water. So when you have fish, there's a tendency that the analogy will be water. Out of the list of the group of words that you'll be given, you have water, you may have water, you may have land, water, you may have land, and then you have sky. Then you look at it. Fish cannot stay on land. So this is out of the option. Fish cannot fly in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's out of the option. Then you say water. Wow, water. Fish, water. Fish stays in water. Then your answer is water. Can you see this fish swimming comfortably inside the water? Because that is the convenient habitat of that fish. It cannot live on land, it cannot live in the sky, it can live comfortably and conveniently in the water. So you can see that analogy there. You can see the relationship, you can see the correlation between water and fish. So water is connected to fish in one way or the other. That is analogy we are talking about. So when you talk about analogy, the two words or the pairs of words that are used will be connected to themselves one way or the other. So you, like I said in the previous slide, you need to think critically and look at it. Which word is connected to this particular word that has been given? 
Now, let's give, let me give another example. It says, we try to show relationship between a transport system and their mode of movement. You can see this. Is a what? Is a ship. Good. Is a ship. And she moves, ship moves on what? Water. Ship moves on water. Now, that is why we have ship and water here. That is the analogy. Ship and water. Ship moves on water. Now, we have another one, which is plane. Airplane. Where does airplane, where does it move? It moves in the air or in the clouds. Now, the analogy is that plane is related to air. That's why we have plane and air. Then ship and water. You cannot see plane and water. Is it correct? Is it correct? No, it's not correct because plane does not move in water. Plane actually moves on air. Why ship moves on water? So that is the analogy. The correlation is that ship moves on water while plane moves on air. That is the analogy. Now let's quickly, quickly go to the next slide. I will show you some things again. See now we have sun and heat. Amatan and cold. You can see this person here. What do you notice? She is feeling very cold. And that's why she's putting on cardigan. So this is Amatan related to cold. Why heat? Sun is related to heat. This is sun related to heat. Why? Amatan is related to cold. Here we are relating objects and the way it is being felt. Sun is bringing out heat. Why Amatan is bringing out cold. So that is the analogy. Cold is related to Amatan. Heat is related to sun. That is why we have heat and sun, Amatan and cold. Do you understand? Okay, let me give you another example. Now, analogies. Doctor is to hospital as teacher is to school. You can see now, a teacher works in a school. Why a doctor works in a hospital? That is the analogy. The doctor works in a hospital while the teacher works in the school. You cannot say school, hospital. You cannot say teacher, hospital. It's wrong. You cannot see that teacher is, 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 is tagged or connected to hospital. No. The person that will be connected or the profession that will be connected to hospital will be either doctor or a nurse. That is the one that will be connected to the hospital. Why a teacher or pupil, students will be connected to what? A school. Now we have purple is to grips as red is to cherish. That's the color of, of grip, purple, but the color of cherry is red. Now, grapes are purple, cherries are red. Can you see? So, one way or the other, whether the means of, of communication, just like we saw ship there and plane, or maybe the way we feel that's a matan and heat, or the profession, doctor, school, teacher, school, doctor, hospital, or the colors, purple, talks about grapes, cherries, and red. Do you get it now? That is analogous. You can see that in all the examples I've been giving you, there is a particular correlation one way or the other. Now, I have another picture here again. It talks about, still talking about analogy. Mayor is to city. A mayor governs a city. Why? A governor is to what? I want the answer here. A governor is to... Can I get the correct answer? Good. A governor is to state. A governor is to state. Why a mayor is to is the leader of a city. The mayor is the leader of a city. Why the governor is the leader of a state. That is why we have the governor of Lagos State and we have the governor of Ogun State and every other other states in Nigeria all have their what governors. That is why we say a governor is the leader of a state, while a mayor is the leader of a city. Good. Now let's go to another picture I have here. You can see this picture I have here. Many, many of you can recognize this. What is this? That is a what? A pair of socks. Now we have another one here. Is a pair of hand glove. So a pair of socks is to what? What's this? Legs. Why a pair of hand gloves? Is to what? Hands. 
Can you get it down? You can see that you cannot put this pair, this hand glove to your legs. It's wrong. And you cannot put your socks, pair of socks, to your hands. It is also equally wrong. So you have your pair of socks to your legs, while your pair of hand gloves to your hands. Okay, let me give you another picture again. This is another analogy. He said, Mayor Society, as Governor of States, I've said that before. But what is this something said? He said, Penguin is, penguin is a bird, while koala is a bear. Valentine's Day is in February, while Halloween is in October. Cocoa is hot, while lemonade is cold. Gross is repulsive, while thirsty is sumptuous. Barista is coffee, while florist is banquet. Several talks about few, while normal talks about weird. Swim is in a lake, while climb, you climb mountain. You swim in a lake, you climb a mountain. Then lucky talks about being fortunate, while thankful being talks about being grateful. That brings us to some types of analogies that we have here. It talks about parts to whole, characteristics, degrees, worker to product, antonyms, action to object, synonyms. Those are the types of analogies that we have. Part to whole, that penguin peng peng is a bird, that's a part of an animal, is a, that's a bird, color is a bear, then characteristics, that's cocoa is always hot, that's the characteristics of, of cocoa is hot, why lemonade, the feature of lemonade or the characteristics of lemonade is that it's cold, then we have degree, how much something is, tasty, wow, the food is sumptuous, when you talk about something is sumptuous, the thing is tasty, but when it's gross, Hmm, it's repulsive. You don't want to hear the smell. It's not giving a very good smell. Then we have worker to product. Now we have a florist. A florist is the one that, 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 takes, that sells or takes care of flowers. That's a book market. The barista is the one that takes care of coffee. Now we have antonyms. We talk about antonyms. We talk about antonyms sometimes in our verbal reasoning class. And I told you that antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning with other words. So, Analogies can also be antonyms, like this several. Several means a lot, while few means just little. So, normal and weird. That's antonyms of normal. Is If something is not normal, the thing will be weird. That's the opposite. Now, you can also talk about action in objects. You swim in a lake, you climb a mountain. That's an action. You're climbing, that's the action. And then you swim swimming, that's another action. Then it can also be synonyms. That's lucky. This name talks about where it has I hope that are similar in meaning, like I told you in the verbal class, we had sometimes when we, when we talked about synonyms and antonyms, ways that are synony that, that are synonymous are ways that are similar in meaning. So we have lucky is the same thing as fortunate, why thankful is the same thing as grateful. So you can see these are the types of analogies that we have. Part to whole, characteristics, degree, worker to products, antonyms, action in objects, and synonyms. Now let me quickly go. I have dash who has dash. I have fifth, who has the last word of this analogy? Mouse is to mice, as child is to what? What is the answer? Since mouse is to mice, child is to what? This is singular and plural. Mice is to, mouse is to mice, child is to what? Children, good. Children. Okay, now come here. I have children. Now, who has the last word of this analogy? Rich is too wealthy. As fun is to fun is to what? Rich is too wealthy. That's synonyms. Rich, the same word, synonyms. Rich is too wealthy. As fun is to play. Fun is to what? Play. When you play, you have fun. Fun is to play. Now, let's take a look to the evaluation page. I've known, I'm very sure you've been able to listen to a lot of what I've said and you have understood what an analogy is all about now let's have this evaluation here male and female masculine and what what the answer good feminine we did masculine and feminine gender sometimes ago good masculine and feminine now audible and loud that synonyms audible and loud is the same thing visible and and what clear you can see it clearly you say something is visible, the thing is clear. 
Now, teacher and pupil. Teacher teaches a pupil in the school. Why doctor does what? He treats a patient. The doctor works with a patient in the hospital. The people that doctor treats in the hospital are called patients. Now we have nose and smell, tongue and what do you do with the tongue? You use it to taste. Tongue and taste. Very good. Very, very good. Please give yourself a round of applause. That's good. That's very good. And now I want you to do something for me here. I will not be doing it for you. Just give me the correct answer here. Give me the correct answers here. And then when you're done, just snap it or copy it out in the paper, in a, in a, in a book and snap it. Then send it, send the answers to my mail. I will say that again. Write the answers out for me. Day, light, night. What does night talk about? Day is light, brightness, light. What about night? What do you see in the night? Now, I want you to answer number one to five here, and then six to eight. Do it, snap it. After doing it in a paper, in a, in a, in a, in a, paper, in a, in a paper or in a book, get daddy's phone or mommy's phone, snap it, and send it to my mail. My mail is in front of, my email is in front of this slide. You'll see it there. Okay, I'll be expecting it. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. I know you've been able to learn something wonderful to this class. I will see you again tomorrow's class. In, in, I'll see you again when I give you the class activity. Take care of yourself. Bye.